Hi guys, Rich Kid Retro here, uh, back with another pickup. So this is my sort of second part. Um, yeah, we're going car beating this weekend, the weather looks really bad. But sometimes, if, even though the weather's bad, some cars still might go. So I seem to find better stuff when it's like, when everyone thinks it's going to be bad weather, because there's less people going, I guess, to buy stuff as well. So yeah, this is just little pickups. Um, there's an eBay pickup. Um, yeah, eBay pickup. And a local Gumtree pickup. Yeah, so last Saturday, um, yeah, probably, yeah, m might be, yeah, last Saturday. No, no, don't know where I'm up uploading this. I'll film it Friday, so it might not be live Saturday. So it could be two Saturdays ago. <laughs> two Saturdays ago. Um, I finished work at seven. As always, I check, uh, was it like Facebook sites? Sometimes I get tagged on them when I leave. And also Gumtree. So there was a um, item for sale on Gumtree. He posted it like what four or five hours before, so it must have been about what three or four o'clock. Um, and I just emailed him saying, you know, I'm interested in your item. I can be can be there in 35 minutes. Let me know. Um, he then messaged me back. Um, yeah, two or three minutes later, he said, oh, um, thanks for asking. Um, you're in a long queue at the moment. I was like, okay, thanks. Let me know. Um, yeah, let me know. Obviously, if it get, if it gets to me. Um, he said, and then he sort of like replied saying, "I'm waiting for someone to come pick it up." They were supposed to pick it up like an hour ago, and I was like, "Okay, just let me know." And yeah, so yeah, so I drove home. <laughs> uh, yeah, walked to the walked to the door. Um, about to go over the shower because obviously I finished work, and my phone went off and said, "Yeah, if you could be here in 35 minutes, it's yours." So, blah, blah, blah. literally put my coat back on, um, back in the car, drove up. Um, <laughs> trying to get as fast as possible. Um, pulled up to the house. I was like, "Hello, mate." He's like, "Hi." <laughs> they all seem to be surprised to see a black guy picking up video games. Well, funny. The little bit. Like, Hi, how you doing? I'm like, "Hi." Um, yeah, gave him the money. And yeah, so this is the item. Um, yeah, well, funny. So yeah, this is sixty quid. Um, I've already got one. But yeah, it was just good to have another one and some games as well. And there was sort of this might be in a better condition and that as always. So yeah, so it's it's really funny. So I'll tell you the story in a minute. <laughs> okay. So for sixty pound, I got the PX three hundred twenty two. So this is twenty two inch Sony Bravo um, place or Sony Bravo TV, but has a built in PlayStation two at the bottom. Um, these were only, I guess, I've. I think the only, yeah, I remember at the time they only ever released at Richie Sounds and they sold out pretty quick, so I never got one at the time. Um, I did pick a box one up, I think it was on eBay after when I missed the first initial ones, and I remember getting one for about, must have been about 150 quid, so I was lucky to get one, so I don't know why, um, yeah, so I remember them coming out of Richie Sounds and then must have been about six, seven months later, obviously they were like deleted, and um, yeah, never, obviously you couldn't go in the shop anymore. I thought, oh, sorry, I miss miss it. I kept on looking for some local, um, did a little Facebook like save save um, search, came through, and I think it was like buy it now, like 150 quid or something like that. Oh, to be honest, I might not really remember. I mean, yeah, about 150 quid. So I just went, well, buy, buy it now. <laughs> and yeah, so I've had mine for a good four or five years. Um, I'm trying to remember, yeah, it must be a good four or five years now. So this came up for 60 quid, which oh, I can't say no to it. Um, it's got all the inserts, and the only thing it hasn't got a manual, that's the only thing. Um, yeah, so it came with that. And also some games as well. Um, Rayman, for the PS1, Rayman Platinum. Some games, uh, Micro Machines for the PS2. I don't have this Micro Machines, so yeah, well happy to get this one in the collection. I've got the other one, I think some Micro Machines, either V3 or V4 or something like that. So I'd have the, yeah, I'd have the original Micro Machines for the PS2. Um, Simpsons Hit and Run. Worms 3D. That's a really cool Team 17 game, Worms 3D. I always played the original Worms, Worms Armageddon, Worms. There's a few other ones, but never got into, or never, never actually played Worms 3D, so. You know, Barbie's Horse Adventures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this garbage. <laughs> Um, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. So, yeah, 
I was going to say Spongebob's, but it looks like Nickelodeon, obviously the little Nickelodeon kids programs. Um, yeah. T.Y. the Tasmanian Devil, what are we call Tasmanian Tiger. Sort of the lights like glaring, I guess. Um, Chronicles of Narnia, which I surprisingly I enjoyed. I remember getting it years ago, and yeah. So it seemed to be a good like hack and slash game, if I remember. So yeah, so I might give that another go. And gold, the golden compass. <sighs> uh, sorry guys, I'm fucking tired. Um, yeah, <laughs> the golden compass. So I never played this one either, so... I can imagine this is garbage, a bit like Chronicles of Narnia. But, yeah, definitely worth giving it a go. <laughs> also came on, obviously, with the PS2 controller. Luckily, when I got there, he had it all like plugged in, because I was going to say, you know, obviously, um, kind of see it set up. It was already plugged in. Put it in, and I put, I think put, the, put the Barbie in. He like, looked at me like, just because of the first game on top. And also came with some wireless PS2 controllers. I've got enough wireless ones of these. So yeah, so I'm obviously going to check the dish condition between my TV and this TV. The, 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 compared the boxes as well. The inserts and as always, make sure I've got a good condition one. And this one, or obviously the one I don't need, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to probably take to one of the conventions and sell it there. So I'm going to Doncaster. Um, yeah, the Retro Video Games Market, whatever it's called. Um, super retro games market, or uh, there's so many of them. <laughs> so it's trying to figure out oh, no, which one, which one I've actually booked for. But yeah, it's a Doncaster one where we play events. <laughs> so that one, um, yeah. So I'm going to take that there. So yeah, I need a sort of a big item. So I bought it for sixty quid. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I think they go. I don't know. Just on their own, they seem to be going five hundred fifty pounds. So I imagine a box is like two hundred pound plus. But at least I'll be able to take it there. Um, hopefully even to sell it for like £200, so yeah, at least it'd be worth the trip going up there, get some money, and yeah, hopefully get about £140 back. But yeah, pay for the hotel up there, and yeah, food, and travel, so that is all paid for, just if I just sell this one item, so hopefully hopefully I'll be able to sell it for that. So well happy. Yeah, the story is also, um, I took a photo of it on top of my car. I mean, mate Josh, you always see at car boots. He was go he was going mental. He's like, because I put it on. The <laughs> he was like, "What? You got that?" I go, "Yeah, I got it." Because apparently he messaged the guy at like five o'clock and even spoke to the lady on the phone. I was like, he said he spoke to the lady on the phone and messaged him, and um, she said like he was maybe I don't know second or third in the queue. I mean, they're waiting for this person to come and pick it up, but obviously he never got there. Um, yeah, so he's, obviously I was in a queue further behind him because he actually contacted uh, <laughs> them like sooner. But I guess because I said I could be there in 35 minutes, I got the cash. I could be there, yeah, I could be there in 35 minutes. And so I sort of skipped him, and he's not really happy with me. <laughs> I, go, I didn't know, mate. Or oh, no, I was in, I was in a queue, and he messaged back saying if you can come here in 35 minutes, it's yours. So, so I don't think he's really happy with her. But yeah, he messaged. He said he messaged him like two or three hours before I did. So I think the post went up about, what was it, half three, four o'clock. He probably messaged about five. And I finished work at like seven. And messaged at like ten past seven. And by like eight o'clock, boom, <laughs> I picked it up. <laughs> like, Sorry, mate. <laughs> so I was moving up the car boot, yeah, car boot sales. And when they next see him, he's going to be like going mental. <laughs> yeah, so happy, happy to get this bad boy. In the, yeah, going in the collection and um, be able to give, give resale value as well. So... I don't know what CEX give given it, but I'm not desperate for cash. I took, um, yeah, I sold my voucher. I took loads of stuff in to CEX last time. So, yeah, I was about £100, £150 short, I think it was. But, yeah, I got some good money, traded some trash in. And, yeah, so my next pickup, um, it's just on just on eBay. Um, I've, I've, got the, I've got this already, but I needed curtains. So, I've already got a duvet set, but I needed curtains, so... I had like it saved as curtains came up, and also it said other listings at the bottom, other items. So it was a duvet cover, and the duvet cover was a bit better condition than um, my one that I've got. So, so I've got like, so it's like the Nintendo curtains. I can actually. It says like Super Mario Brothers, Zelda. So it's like Zelda and one of the Nintendo curtains. I think it's like ninety ninety two. And you see 1992, not sure you can see that. 
So it's a single duvet set. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So the curtains, as you can see, they're like really bright condition. Compared to the duvet, obviously it's been washed a few times. So it has lost a bit of colouring. I'm not sure if that's upside down or not, I can't read. So I paid, I think it was £26 for all of that. So, so we're happy. Um, I, I completely forgot. I remember, buy, I remember getting them. And then obviously they came in the post. I was thinking, shit, I think I've already got one. So one of my cabinets over there, this bit in behind like my Zelda games and stuff, I actually got one of them. And I've got I've got the pillow and obviously the single duvet cover, but it's quite faded. I remember picking it up. Oh, was I don't know where did I get it from? It might have been from London T London TV Film and Comic Con for about twenty five to thirty quid. Um, that was just a single set. Um, it's all wrapped up actually with the price on, so um, it's just it's just in the cabinet. <laughs> so um, obviously, again, I'm probably gonna, you know, that's better condition, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. Well, that one, I'm um, yeah, I'm just gonna take to, um, yeah, the Doncaster retro game events, and I think it's still got the price on, still wrapped up, and I'm just gonna poof, just put it on the table as it is, get my money back, and just gonna get rid of it. So hopefully that will pay, um, twenty five pounds. So that was like twenty six pound plus, obviously with post as well. So this means I gain the curtains for a quid. So happy. So hopefully I can sell that on. Um, so that's it really. So yeah, it's Friday. Um, car boots. Hopefully it's going to be good. Um, I haven't been for a few weeks. Or was it one one or two weeks? I think, no, just one one week I did go last weekend. Um, yeah, it's getting really hard out there. Um, like I said, I'll, like, like I said with this TV, obviously on Gumtree, I was like in a queue. But the amount of times I'm actually like the first person to comment saying, I'll take it. But by the time I've driven five miles down the road, the prices of it quadrupled or doubled. Or, you know, you're paying £20 for the N64 for some games. You thought, oh, I'll be there, be there in five minutes. By the time you've driven in there, they're like, oh, I've been offered 80 quid for it. You'll be like, oh, you know, there's not much actually need, obviously, games wise from a collection or sort of to sort of sell on and uh, trade on, really. So I'm like, great. So that's happened for me probably five or six times. But it's good to be at the back of the queue to finally get at the front of the queue and get, get one of these bad boys. And they're yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Um, obviously, you have a bigger place, a bit more rooms, a bit more bedrooms. It'd just be good to have one of them in, one of them obviously in the bedroom, and then you just get retro on five in there, and that's literally all you need. <laughs> that is all you need. One of these bad boys and the retro on five in the bedroom, and then you're like happy. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all the pickups. So yeah, it's not yeah, it's not the best weather on Friday, but apparently it's going to clear up. Sunday or Saturday afternoon and it'd be bad on Monday so let's see what happens really um, yeah so the cabinet behind I don't know that obviously it's quite bright there and the cabinet in behind <laughs> I did these two cabinets um, on off I won one off eBay for like was it 25 quid so I drove to pick it up and he had lots more as well so I think I missed out no what happened yeah I got one for 25 pound the other one actually sold, but I drove down there. But it looked like it was one of those. Um, it was a, it was a very touristy place in Cornwall. Um, it, it had closed down. And he had, he had like ten of these, ten of these cabinets. And one of my sort of like normal glass cabinets, a bit like um, yeah, one of the one of the cabinets you've seen before. I think one of them is actually it. Um, yeah, so actually, I think I won one of them for twenty five pound, and I missed out on one of these. And he had like 10 of these in a row. And I'm like, how much do you want for one of these? He's like, 50 quid each. I'm like, oh. Because um, it was cash in hand. They go, well, I'll give you £100 for these two and the other one. And he's like, yeah. So, yeah, I forgot what, what place was it? It was one of those random touristy places. Just obviously, just on the side of the road. And they have like, I don't know, like Cornish rocks, tin and all that crap in there. Um, clay, china clay. The stuff I remember, I remember visiting it as a kid. I was like, oh, this place is still alive. So, yeah. He said, oh, it's all closed down now. I don't know if it's going for housing or something or flats. So, yeah, so I've got these bad boys. The only thing, I, I had my car. So, <laughs> by the time I put these two in, because I thought, oh, I want these first. I put these two in. I think, oh, shit, I forgot about the other bag of small cabinet. I'm like, um, great, I can't even fit it in my car. So, the seat's down and everything. In the end, he gave me a bit of rope. So, we sort of tied the boot 
to the, to obviously where the boot like locks in like that, like, like that, and I'm driving along. <laughs> we've been fucking pissing down with rain. This was probably about what two or three months ago. No, probably longer than that actually. Before Christmas. Um. Yeah, before must have been before Christmas. Cause I did all this before Christmas. Yeah, and it was pissing down with rain. I was like so cold because it's like one degrees outside driving. But yeah, got got it all home in the end. Um, yeah, quite heavy glass and that. So yeah, it took me like two days to try and figure out what's gonna put in them. And at the time, I didn't have. I filled up all my other cabinets. So I thought, oh, what am I gonna put in here? And I had my box of obviously stuff I moved um, flat. I'm gonna move our house. And I thought, oh, what am I gonna put in there? So I thought, sorry, let's just put my Manta Force in there. Um, I I love Manta Force at the time. It was so good. Um, early nineties, mid yeah, early nineties, mid nineties. I remember. So it must have been about eleven or twelve when I got that. So missing some stuff. I got some of my wrestling cards in there, so you can see. So there's like the black ship and stuff. So and here uh, I've just got like a random shelf for the Pogs, a couple um, teenage mutant ninja turtle figures, um, a Boglin. Not sure you can see that. Yeah, a Boglin crate. Um, and then Starcom. I found a box of Starcom. I'm not sure you can actually see because obviously it's like really bright. <laughs> oh, it's because of the fucking light. Oh, I could probably open it. That would be better. Hey! <laughs> yeah, so I've got my Starcom, which is absolutely fucking awesome. Absolutely love Starcom. There's a few bits I'm missing. I thought, oh, I'll try and get it on eBay and that. But these seem to be really expensive. So you've seen them in car boots, guys. Pick them up. Um, yeah, Starcom, they've got the guys with the metal feet. As long as you put them in like, a certain location, it mag magnetises them. Um... And yeah, some of the some of these guys go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See if I can. I think we do it without breaking. <laughs> <laughs> so like that. So it's like really cool. I absolutely love Mandavors. <laughs> As a kid, down here I've got a little Pokemon section. So I got all my Pokemon Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games. Soul Seal and Comedy Jokers, a couple of um, carts there. Not sure you can see the bottom here, but yeah, down here it's got a little Resident Evil collection and um, Tomb Raider collection. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if you can actually see. <laughs> so there, yeah. So I keep on seeing people with obviously like little Resident Evil games all lined up, thinking I think I've probably all got half of that. So I thought, oh, I'll just put my randoms together. And there's some more Manta Force there. Yeah, so we're all happy. I'm going to move now because I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's sort of lo the local pickup. So I'm going to slowly do this around the place, like, um, see, you know, different stuff in the background. But my next one is my Final Fantasy cabinet, so I'll be doing that. So cheers, guys. Thanks for liking, thanks for sharing. What a happy 60 quid. Couldn't fucking believe it. Couldn't fucking believe it. But yeah, good profit to be out of this. Some games that I don't have as well. Pointless wireless controllers. But yeah, and um, the duvet set and curtain. I just need, I need, I need, a, I need, a, I need an X room now, because I want to put the curtain up. <laughs> I can't put the curtain up, because I don't have a fucking room. <laughs> but yeah, cheers guys, thanks for liking, thanks for sharing. And all that jazz. Oh, I've got so much pogs in there. Pog the game. Cool. Bye.